project number two we started with already. Go inside with this window. The window box. I use some wood hardener on the back of this right there to get it cold. And now I have done some boundary work on it already. We need a little bit more. Instead of going out and buying a new one, which probably I can't find anyway. And replacing the wood. This seemed to be an easier way. It takes a lot of care out of this. I used whatever I had left in the other window. and said all purpose to cover. I didn't see that in the store, so I just found out that now with the they look the same. The same clean hardness. So I'm thinking it just might be packaging. Well, this is my piece of uh, marble that I'm using. Got some left over that I haven't had it for my father in law. He loved it marble. So Nothing to be uh, intimidated about. You take some and put it on there. The working area here. They say not to use a lot, you know, if you're using it for cars and stuff like that, or hardens or anything. Like on the quicker side, so you don't want to make a whole lot and then have it all harden up. But this I'm using for a lot of deep cracks and crevices, so I need a good amount to slop in there. I'm just going to clean this top so that I can reopen it again. Of course, wear gloves. I think these are called nitro or something like that. Let me just work this around a little bit here. Get it all in one spot. I got these plastic things in uh, one of the home improvement stores. I think it was Home Depot. Some people say to use the stainless steel because it's easier to clean, but I'm basically going to throw these away. I don't know how many of these jobs like this one I'm going to do. There's the rest of this. And now you mix it in. Kind of a, like squashing it in and spreading it around so that you get all of the clean hardener in there. Now we get an even mix. You might want to start out with a little bit less than this. Oop. Can get a little sloppy, make sure you have your area protected. And that pushes out the bubbles. But in this kind of thing, it doesn't really matter. It's not a car. Okay. I think this is ready. And it's still soft, but it hardens pretty quick. Let me just get rid of this. is different. Mine was white. Okay. It's easier to see that it's mixed. Once it's 
for again today. I'm not gonna be able to let this be a hell of a pain for the part. So the part I did before is already hardened. It does have a line I got from Carolina to put the uh, flowers in, but something is out of this way. This in there, it's gonna last forever. I might have to mix up some more. Probably one more than to use uh, plastic. This shows the tendency. I just kind of want to scrape here. These are plastic, so they're very cheap. And we can use stainless steel. shaking the table. Guess they tell you approximately what to use. See 
where it's white and sometimes that's where it's not completely mixed. Let me go like this. I'll do that a couple of times. Still a little bit. I'd have to mix it in a little more. Make it a flattening motion like that. If it mixes it. And then bring it all back together. Since it's very damp today. I'm not going to be able to let this get hard and painful, but so the part I did before is already hardened. I'm just going to push that in there. It's almost like frosting. decoration is, but there is cracks. Take it out with the knife. I'm liking that. I'm just going to clean this up a little here. When you paint it, you won't even see that. Plus, it's not like everybody's up on top of your window box. It's up on the on the wall. I'll just smooth it out. This way, you don't have to do any sand. Anymore. This is starting to dry really quick now. So I mixed up a little too much, too quick. As I said, nobody's going to see the inside. Just to stop this rot.
Yeah, my primary job is done for tonight, so I have to go back. Since this is the inside, I really didn't care. This was one of the drills, and it covered all the rot that was in there. And this is from That's it for that. See the bracket here. Okay, the project is completed. So I'm ready to put it up. Got the brackets up and we're ready to go. Well, that was nice, right? This is Leah, the next project. I'm quiet and driving down the road. Someone was giving me a ride. I need some work. Looking forward to this project. Stay tuned to the new adventure of the Bondo Queen. <laughs>